There is a fear of sickness, a wave of fear that is sweeping across the globe. But there is a beautiful counter in the Bible and the verse reads this. I read the verse from Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 that says, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee, says the word of God. I was just going through the history of Napoleon Bonaparte. It says, when he was a child, he lost his father due to stomach cancer. He was very egoistical. He was a violent kid and he wanted to kill himself. He attempted suicide, says the history. And then, ironically, when he was 51 years, finally, he also loses his life and doctors come to a conclusion that he died of stomach cancer. So few people or children whose parents are infected with some dreadful diseases or who died because of certain diseases, they always carry this fear in their hearts, you know. You know, it might catch up to them. It could be cancers, it could be tumors, it could be blood pressure, heart attacks, so on and so forth. Even King Hezekiah, everybody knows that he was stricken with tumor. It, I think it's like cancer. But when he asked God, God extended his lifeline almost 15 years, says the word of God. So all those who are living through dread and fear, if it has seized you, it has impaired your mind, it has disabled you from going forward in life. Today, we would like to emphasize this beautiful word. The joy of the Lord is my strength, says the word of God. So if you are feeling weak, if you are feeling so fragile and fearful, somewhere the strength is not in you because the joy of God is not in you. So today as a family, we would just like not just to preach, but to proclaim the good news that God brings about salvation and salvation brings about joy.